now let's see how a sync task works what is the typical functionality of the async task okay let's see so this was our last try this was our first try now here what i'm going to do is that see private i'm going to create one inner class class my task right class my task extends a sync task a sync task is an abstract class three methods are abstract over there can you see a sync task enables proper and easy use of ui thread a sync task enables proper and easy use of ui thread this class allows to perform the background operation and publish the results to or publish the results on the ui thread without having to manipulate threads and or handlers so there is a one more way handler a new way rx java you can deal with the rx java we'll see time to time a sync task enables the proper and easy use of ui thread right this class allows to perform background operation and publish the results on ui thread without having to manipulate the threads inter thread communication you don't need to worry about a sync task is designed to be a helper class around the thread and handler and does not constitute the generic threading framework we'll see what they want to say you'll come to know we'll not go in that much detail deeper level right but a sync task you can consider it someone is going to communicate with the ui thread and your worker thread okay see now it is a generic class so first parameter what kind of params you are needing params what kind of progress you are doing what kind of progress you are doing and what is result you are producing params progress and the result generic class it is nothing but what generic class what params you are passing me for the operation from that params i am going to do progress of this type right i am doing progress of this type right and i am going to after whole progress or how after whole operation i am going to generate result of this type right so presently what can i say is that i am going to have the progress or params of void type this type can be different absolutely any different what kind of parameter you are passing okay or you can say params of integer type i am going to generate progress once again of type integer right and i am going to pass a result as of type boolean operation is successful or operation is fail so params progress and the result params progress and the result are the three things now see it is a abstract class one method is abstract over there which is nothing but the do in background can you see do in background is the home of the worker thread this thing works as worker thread wt so here you would be logging all the logic right which would be communicating with the server which would be accessing the heavy data from local sqlite or converting your excel sheets to the pdf over here in this house you would be doing that thing okay now see here you are saying that i am going to take integer kind of parameters okay but question is that from where you are passing the integer kind of parameter see every task need to be executed right so i can create object of new task can you see new my task new my task and execute can you see at the time of execution you need to pass the parameters these are the optional parameters 
these are nothing but what optional parameters pass it or don't pass it so you can say please start the iteration from zero it is an array can you see integer three dots and the params optional parameters in the java right these are nothing but what optional parameters please start from the zero and end to hundred it is array I am passing please start from zero please start iteration from zero and end on the hundred so these are nothing but what params let me write one comment over here params you are passing or instead of here I would like to write that thing over here say params these are nothing but what params that you are passing params for the operation params for the background operation from here I am passing the params okay now let me come here right and this boolean is called as what you can say this boolean is called as result this boolean is called as result from the execute method you have passed some params that params will come to this method right params from execute method these are the same params that you have passed from which method execute methods so this is a worker thread it is going to generate the result of type boolean and this is a correct place to write your for loop with the thread dot slip see how, how should I write that for int i is equals to the zeroth parameter of the params array right see params of 0 which is indicating 0 value over here okay then i is less than what that also you have seen at the time of execute method params of what 1 and then you can say i plus plus see this i plus plus which is incrementing now if you write thread dot slip over here nothing will happen thread dot slip for half second fine you can surround it with the try catch now again if you get the reference of text view over here in the do in background and try to assign again you will be getting same exception wrong called from wrong thread exception so by the definition of the async task they are saying that async task enable the proper and easy use of the UI thread the class allows to perform the background operation and publish the results on the UI thread this line is very important publish the results on the UI thread what it is going to do publish the results on the UI thread okay after this line I can say publish progress here you can say publish progress of type integer see again it is expecting what again it is expecting integer value or optional parameters integer optional parameters so you can say i over here now this is nothing but your second type integer right this is nothing but what progress that you are publishing progress and in this case these are of type integer so this progress and second parameter are same this result and this parameter are same okay so a sync task is generally divided into three phases before the execution during the execution and after the execution right so there are few methods on pre-execute before the execution this is background thread means during the execution and on post execute after the execution during the execution after the execution see this is this method is